Hi, I'm Drew Claybor with Mitsutoyo America Corporation. I'm here at Jeremy Banks, also of Mitsutoyo America. Jeremy is our National Data Management Sales Specialist. So Jeremy, how are you doing today? Doing fine, thanks for having Good. me. So Jeremy, one application I've encountered a lot lately is the ability to uh, more or less use a data logger. Mm -hmm. I know in the past we've had the ability to collect data using a printer, mm -hmm. but if I wanted to transfer that to the PC, I would have to go in and manually type it in. Vice versa, I could have a, you know, I could just connect a tool directly to the PC, but what if I don't have a PC available? So are there any options available to help bridge the gap here? Right, right. So um, today we're going to talk a little bit about our DP1VA. Now it's going to replace our DP1VR. Uh, primarily, it's a thermal printer. So anytime you take a measurement with a device, it will print it out. So um, for example, if I want to take data from this uh, MDH micrometer, I'll just hit the data button. The value that's on the mic will then transfer over to the printer. I can feed that up so everybody can read it. So if I change this value right now and mm -hmm. you press the data button again, there you go. Okay. Now you can also trigger data from the gauge itself by hitting the uh, data button. And there's also a foot switch adapter. So if you wanted to use a foot switch, you could plug it in right here and then smash on the foot switch and you get data. And so this is keeping track of how many measurements we've taken each time. Yeah, so this is the sixth measurement. It has the value and it actually is recording the unit as well. So I can see that all these measurements were an inch. Gotcha. Now, um, not only can it collect the data and then of course send it to the printer, but it can also send it to the PC. So um, all you have to do is plug in a USB cable and then plug it into your computer. And then you can open up on your computer a software like um, Excel or Notepad. So this is just a, a micro USB cable. There's nothing fancy or special about this, nothing proprietary. No, no, it's uh, one will ship with the unit, but uh, okay. it's just a standard cable you can buy anywhere. Um, it's just plugged into the unit, plugged into um, my computer, and then I have, uh, for example, C3 is the active cell. So the way it's set now, all I have to do is hit the data button, data will be printed out, and it will be sent to uh, keyboard entry into Excel. Now, if you're sending the data directly into Excel, you can go ahead and turn off the printer. That way you're not wasting the paper, mm -hmm. and then you can continue to send data into Excel by either pushing the data button, the button on the cable, or you can use a foot switch to trigger the data as well. Now, um, that's all great if you're sitting in front of the computer, right? right? Uh, but sometimes people want to measure parts away from the inspection station. So in that instance, we'll use a data logger. So all I have to do is unplug the USB cable <clears throat> and then turn on the data log function. So I'm going to hold down the record button for three seconds. You can see now that the log has started and there's zero dimensions already being measured. So we're ready to go. So now you can just go ahead, Drew, and get okay. us some measurements. So let's take a few measurements here. Now, as you can see, as we're doing the measurements, we're also printing them. But if you wanted to save on paper, you could turn off the printer and continue and measuring. And it'll still keep accumulating. Yep. Every time you hear the beep, that's an audible to tell you that it's taken the measurement. Great. So let's say I've taken enough measurements now and I'm all done. What steps do we take from here? Okay, well from here we're going to go ahead and stop the data logging. So I'm going to hold down the stop button for three seconds. And it gives you confirmation that the log is stopped and I've measured six pieces. As you can see, four of them were printed out, but two of them were just stored to the logger. Right. Okay. Um, so now we're going to go back to the inspection lab and we're going to plug this back into my computer. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pick on a different cell. And now we're basically uh, going to collect the data from the data logger. So all I'm going to do is hold the output button for three seconds. Okay, since the printer was turned off, all it gives us is our confirmation. It doesn't print the actual measured values again, but you can see in Excel, in column E, the data was transferred. That's perfect. That's exactly what my customers needed. Exactly. So now all you got to do is uh, you can clear out the memory, and then you can go and measure some more. Very good. Well, Jeremy, thank you so much for your time today. This is a great new product, wonderful tool tip. Thank you for that. If you guys have any other suggestions for tool tips that you'd like to see, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you for your time. Join us again.